Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to fetch the Postgre database password from Key Vault in AKS. This is a continuation of my previous video. So if you are unfamiliar with Key Vault, I highly recommend watching my previous video. Before we start, I have humble request. If you enjoy my content, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your like and subscribe motivate me to create more content. If this is your first video to my YouTube channel, I have created a dedicated playlist for AKS cluster. So please check out. I will provide the link in the description as well as in the I button. So let's get started. So in the previous video, uh, we have created this key vault AKS demo Postgre KV. And inside that we have created one secret called Postgre PW. As well as we have created the Busybox secret store pod and we are fetching that secret value inside this pod. So let's quickly check. So ls, uh, ls mnt, ls mnt, secret store. So this is a, our secret name, postgre pw. So let's quickly check postgre pw. And what is the value of that Postgre PW? Let's quickly check. The value of this secret is password. Now let me create <coughs> new secret or let me change the value of this secret. So I'm going to create a new version and set the value one, two, three, ABC and click create button not now and the older version I am going to disable it okay now let's create first let's create a secret provider class so here I am I have already prepared the YAML file so this is my secret provider class I have given the name Azure Sync, provider is Azure, parameter, so we have to first set the parameter. So cloud name is Azure Public Cloud, key vault name, so my key vault name is Azure AKS Demo Postgre. In, inside the object, I have an array and we have given the object name, so our object name is Postgre PW. So let me change this object type is secret tenant ID and this user assign identity ID. I have discussed in the previous video how to get this value and inside the secret object I am going to give a data key is our key is password object name again the same and secret name I am going to I am I am giving the same name. So this is our secret provider class. So let's first create the secret provider class. So secret provider class is successfully created. Let's quickly check. So here you can see Azure Sync is created successfully. So let's quickly verify. Yes. Now here you can see our secret name and our object name is Postgre PW and key is password. So secret product class is now successfully created. Now we have to create a deployment file of Postgre database. So again, I have already prepared the YAML file. So this is my Postgre database deployment file. And here I have configured the volumes 
and inside the volume I have given the name secret store online driver name is secret store csi.ks.io and secret provider class so this is very important so the, our secret provider class name is azure sync right azure sync and I have mount this volume so volume mount given a same name secret store online inside the mount path mnt secret store read only true and here in the environment file we have given the name postgre password and what is our object name so our object name is postgre pw so let's fetch this postgre pw and key is password right so key is password let me copy this yaml file and paste into the lens software now here you can see the postgre database pod is created successfully and if i click here and if i see this environment it is 123 abc so we have configured this right 123 here 1 2 3 ABC now what happened in the background it will create a secret file say postgre PW and inside that secret file we have a password ABC 1 2 3 so let's change the password now and fetch the latest password so I am again create a new version and here I am going to give the password ABC capital ABC okay and I'm going to create it not now and I'm going to disable this password so now our latest password is ABC capital ABC but here still it is fetching the old password right so for that let me restart the pod So once I restart the pod, it will fetch the latest password. Okay, still it is uh, fetching the old password. So for that, what we have to do, we have to remove this secret. Okay, and we have to remove this pod also. So now you can see it will fetch the new password, ABC capital ABC. Okay. So now whenever you fetch any data from key vault, it will not automatically rotate the new password. Now to rotate the new password, we need to enable the rotation policy. So uh, this one. So see, enable the auto rotation of secret on a new cluster using AZ AKS create or enable auto rotation existing AKS using AZ AKS add on update. So let me copy this. And first we need to enable the add on. So control V. Now let me give the cluster name AKS demo. Resource group is also AKS demo. And click enter. So let me verify our resource name is also a case demo, right? Yes. Okay. So let's wait. Okay. Now next step. We need to specify the custom rotation interval. So let me copy this. And here for time being, I am going to set two minute. Cluster name is AKS demo and resource group is also AKS demo. Yeah, it's done now. So now let's wait for the 
now let's wait for two minutes so here what i'm going to do let me create new version of uh, new version of password so go to the key vault create a secret and now i am going to create a new version so the new version password i am going to give 1 2 3 4 5 okay save and i am going to disable this one okay now let's wait for 2 minute and after that we will check the postgre password so currently it is abc capital abc so let's wait for 2 minute yes so now here you can see after two minute now we are getting this new password one two three four five and here in the log in the secret provider csi driver log you can see that reconcile is started and reconcile is completed so in a, this way you can rotate your key vault password without restarting the board i hope you like this video see you in the next video